Okay, 48 Volt is a hybrid car. This is a mild hybrid car. Um, um, so we have the normal functionalities of a hybrid car. The main target is CO2 reduction. Um, we are doing this like a normal hybrid car. This means we are using the braking energy, um, um, a charge a battery with this, and use this charged um, energy to support with the electrical machine the combustion engine. This is the reason why we why we um, save CO2. We have some um, side effects of this 48 volt, um, according to comfort and drivability. So. Um, First, what I want to show is a start-stop. We have an extended start-stop. This means um, the car begins lower than 8 km to stop. Um, and then you can feel after the restart, we have a really smooth restart because we have, uh, as an electrical machine, we have an, a belt starter generator. So this is connected via a belt direct to the crankshaft. And we can um, go with a high torque over this belt direct to the crankshaft and restart the car. And it's really quickly and really smooth. So this you can feel. So we will um, try this at the lights. Important is go to neutral. We have a manual gear shift here. Then you stop and you see, beginning with eight, the mm -hmm. combustion engine stops. And if you press the clutch again, it's restart. And then you feel it's really really smooth. It's quick and um, and not so noisy like it's normal. So then um, we have mainly two two functions here. One is recuperation. If I go from the throttle, the car will use this brake energy. Um, to, to charge a battery. You can see this here in the display. Yes. We have here these arrows. So this means if it goes down, we are charging now. And if I press the, um, the socket uh, again, then the car accelerates and you see here that we are boosting and the machine supports the combustion engine. What you can feel while driving is, especially at lower RPMs, that we have also one side effect. Um, we can bridge a little bit the turbo gap. So at lower RPM, if the uh, turbocharger is not working, we are supporting with 48 volt and we have a little bit of better drive, uh, drivability. This is not the main effect. Main effect is really t uh, CO2 reduction, but this is a side effect we can use also to make the car a little bit more smooth. And if you accelerate, then if you are going to, um, to the charging mode, you can feel this direct it breaks a little bit more as a, as a standard car if you um, go um, down with the, um, with the speed. Okay, these are the main functions here Renault integrated in this car. In general, you have the possibility also to, um, to implement um, an in coasting mode. That means also at 80 km per hour you can switch off the combustion engine and drive only by supporting from the electrical machine to um, have the speed constant. Um, but this is not implemented from Renault at the first. He, um, they decided not to do this. And it's also a little bit more complicated with the manual um, gear shift. So for automatic it's better. Okay, so um, you can um, play a little bit with the throttle, um, feel the, the boosting at lower RPM. You can feel the, um, um, the start-stop and you can feel the um, recuperation.
how much power has the combustion engine? Um, 120 kilowatts. Uh, no, horsepower. Horsepower, yes. Horsepower. Yeah. Um, we support up to 50 kilowatt. 15 kilowatts, yeah. so it's um, about 20, 20 horsepower. 20 horsepower, yes, in addition. But uh, this is for short time. Um, this is the maximum power continuous, so the whole time we can um, support by 6 kilowatt, so around about 9, 9 horsepower. But important for this boosting is, of course, um, you will only do this if the battery is charged. Mm -hmm. Because um, if you um, empty yes, the battery, okay. then you have to charge, and charging costs um, also fuel. So um, it's a, and this is um, this is the intelligence of the application. So it so also consumes power. Act, exactly, it consumes power, and at the end you have uh, more um, um, you have more consumption as without 48 volt. So um, you have really to to implement and um, driving logic. If you drive here to the left, then we can move also the driver. If you want, you can make here also a start stop. So go to neutral, yes. and then. You see? Um, you need to um, go first to the second gear. Okay. Otherwise, he is thinking we are in traffic jam. Okay. And not doing this. So now it's okay. No, this is not possible with this system. Um, this is um, due to the topology. So um, this 48 volt is a um, no. Um, this is a P called P0 application. That means we are replacing with a 48 volt ESG. Um, okay. um, we are replacing with a BS, also with this belt starter generator. We're replacing um, the standard generator, and um, this is um, before the engine connected to the crankshaft. So we cannot switch, um, we cannot disconnect the um, 48 volt from the combustion engine. If you are make an electric mode with this configuration, you have to uh, move also the whole um, combustion engine, and this is not efficient. But we are working also on other topologies. So with this topology, we are um, integrating this 48 volt motor in the gearbox and then we can um, disconnect via the clutch and we can drive uh, direct electric and this is the next step in 48 volt um, to have this configuration in the gearbox Now we don't have recuperation. No, um, um, no um, if you are in a neutral, you cannot recuperate. Okay. Um, because you open the clutch and you have no, um, um, the, the motor is not um, oh, okay. spinning. So, so um, here you will feel this one. This is, a, this is now the 48 volt starter generator. And this is exact same place and the same configuration like a standard generator. So, um, here you will feel this one. This is a, this is now the 48 volt starter generator. And this is exact same place and same configuration like a standard generator. This is our new prototype to make a diesel clean. So it's our super clean at five diesel. It means it's clean, it's electrified. So we took a car from the market. It's a Euro 6B car, and we made it. Always, always. So we took this car, this is a car you can buy, and we modify it with our knowledge, with our technology, on combustion engine, on after treatment, and also on electrification. So it's a 48 watt mild hybrid, and here we try to combine all these different concepts to work together. It doesn't have an electric engine, 
it has a 48 volt uh, like electric in, engine. In, in the, the yeah. garden front. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's the know. same one you could okay. see inside. There is a okay. prototype in there, and it's also used. 48. Here. Yeah. Other view. Here. So this is this tablet is connected to the car. This one is connected to this portable emission system which you saw on the back of the car. Mm -hmm. So it's completely decoupled for the car. If I activate the parking system, you will see on the back the car recognizes. It's a worry, take care, there is something on the back because the car is completely decoupled from this system. So this means the car doesn't know if you are testing it, if you are on a normal drive, and this is what the new legislation is saying. So we have to drive the car on a normal road in a normal way. This tool on the back uh, measures the emissions, and here you can see live, so while you are driving, what is coming out from the tailpipe. Here we have the NOx, uh, your rear speed, and important is for us today these three diagrams. So RDE legislation says drive on the road, uh, test the car on the road, but uh, there are some limitations. This means you are not allowed to drive in any condition because you, are, you need to, to compare different cars. So to make it comparable, you need to drive in similar conditions. So this means in this case, we have a GPS on the top of the car, which is measuring our speed and our acceleration. We multiply them and we get a sort of index of your driving behavior. This means uh, here you will see a blue point, which is your current status, and a black point. The black point is your 95 percentile. This means it's a sort of uh, highest uh, 95 uh, percent value that you reach and this has to be below the threshold so very important in the end if your point if your black point is below the threshold we are allowed to show you a result otherwise it's not possible and the, the complete run is not valid uh, I just tell you what we would like you to try we have two phases where we want to simulate the city so we have two traffic lights one here and one on the back mm -hmm. we have a extra urban phase where we can drive 90 km per hour so just to simulate different conditions that are on real driving. So, just drive as you usually drive. Just remember these points, these black points must be below the, the threshold. Yeah, you can start. So, car is stopped, engine is off. Yes. Not a new thing, mm -hmm. it's already available. What is new is how the engine can be restarted. So on a normal system you have to crank the engine, it's very noisy, it's not so fast. If you release the brake now, you see it's very quick, it's very it's, fast, it's very smooth. It's a big problem in a TDI. Uh, exactly, the engine is problem. really big. Harsh so starting, <laughs> yes. In this case, we have much more power than a normal car. So in this car, it's very important that we can switch off the engine, and that we can switch on the engine again very smoothly, very quickly. Now we are at 90 km per hour. Let's imagine you are in a traffic jam. Just release the pedal from the accelerator. You see, engine is switched off. We are just rolling. It's completely decoupled from the wheel. It means it doesn't break your car. And we can just roll. You see, your speed is decreasing very slowly. Yes. This means if you see also on the distance, you have a traffic light, you can just release your pedal and the car is rolling. You can now drive here on the left side. So you see there is a 50 kph zone. This means we are back in the city, just in between the two points. And on the bottom, there is also a traffic light. This means you can also here drive 50, then release your accelerator and the car will cost again. What is the problem in this case? So other already can do this, but the problem is you cool down the system. So the catalyst is cooled down because you don't have a, an exhaust which flows in, and this means it's not efficient. If it's not efficient, when you push again the accelerator to, to overcome a car or to, to avoid an obstacle, the system is not efficient and doesn't convert the NOx. In this case, we implemented like, to the 48 volt technology an electrically heated catalyst which keeps the catalyst warm. This means engine is off, but the system is ready. So as soon as you accelerate again, it is able to convert. This means also in a, uh, the high acceleration phases, it is efficient. It is also efficient as soon as you start the car, so in a cold start, and also in the city, which are usually the most critical phases for, for a diesel car. But this is also al is only allowed by this uh, interaction between the different systems. So in a city, so in a city usually you have 
several phases where you brake a lot, then you accelerate, you brake a lot again. So during the brake, we recuperate some energy. So as I showed you, our set of charge increases. We have some energy, we can use it or to warm up the after treatment, or to support the combustion engine during the acceleration. You can see you are not valid. It mm -hmm. means your driving style was too aggressive. Yes. So you saw this first acceleration was very hard, but then you could come down. So on a real driving emission, you are allowed to do this. You have then the time to recuperate. Mm -hmm. On this short test, it's not possible because it's so short. So I'm not allowed in this case to, okay. to show you a result. If you want to see really what is the NOx which we can save, try to be below the <laughs> threshold, okay? You can drive. The same thing? So yeah, I have same to stop. stuff. So we have a traffic light, it's red, we stop the car. So you see already the car is, engine is going off. This means we have no fuel consumption, but as I told you, the system is still efficient and is ready. You can just restart if we keep on to be right. So we go again out of the road, out of the city, and you accelerate. Usually during a quick acceleration, a diesel has a problem because combustion is not very efficient and we create a lot of knocks. Here we support with the, with the electrical machine, so part of the power that you require request from the pedal is given by the machine. We have a 15 kilowatt machine which supports this phase. Obviously, this is uh, not only a 15 kilowatt machine, it's not only a component. What is important for us is, in the end, we need to reduce the NOx, but we also have to keep an eye also on the fuel consumption and on the CO2. So CO2 is also a big problem for us. Now, again, on the left. Yeah. So that's why we, we want to be prepared also to other scenarios. So one is to increase the efficiency of the combustion, one is to use other kind of fuels. So very popular is now the synthetic fuels. So in this car we have now a 15% synthetic fuel. So you are not driving only diesel, it's a synthetic fuel in 15% percentage. So here I have to stop, right? You can stop or reaccelerate. You can act like if it's a green one. So now we recuperate uh, some energy. And now when you start again, you can use it to support the combustion engine. So such a synthetic fuel is an OME. This means uh, is an oxymethylene ether. It's obtained from the CO2. So we keep the CO2 which is already in the air. We create a uh, liquid fuel. We can mix it away together with diesel. We can use the infrastructure which are already available. And then when you burn it, you create some CO2. But this is the same CO2 that you have used to produce this fuel. So in the end, the, the overall production and burning of the fuel is CO2 neutral. So also in this case, we go back to the starting point. So as you see, now we are at 80 kph. We have to arrive to, up to that point. This means you can just roll, let the car rolling. So you don't need to waste some other fuel, you don't need to, to emit some pollutants, but the system is ready. So if you accelerate, the system is warm, is efficient, and will reduce our emissions. So now, you see, your driving was, was a normal driving behavior. So I think it's similar to what you usually do on uh, every day. Yeah, you can stop there next to the white car, just on this side. But it, it is valid. So, you know, in 2023, we'll come a new legislation which says 80 milligram per kilometer is the new threshold on real driving. And what we have today is 10. So in this drive, you, your emission was 10 milligram per kilometer. This means it's eight times lower than the future legislation. So what does it mean? This means that diesel can be clean, can be driven also in a city, we have the technology to make it clean. So now we could show you that driving in such a behavior, the diesel can be clean.